Okay, today is June 26, I believe. About three days late on this video. Here's a bear's lime tree that I transplanted from up there by the septic system. He had a little bit of a shock, but you know, a lot of these branches I took off myself. Some of the leaves dried up and fell off, but for the most part, um, it's what I did to it that you see all these branches down there. Let me take this branch off. Take him off too. Oh, I'm not strong enough. There, let me take this guy off. Anyway, here you have uh, some of the aloe vera, flowering plant, Peruvian apple, more plants that I'm trying to sell or give away. Agapanthus, I got a plumeria, I mean, yeah, plumeria back there. Strawberry guava, some bananas, three, two varieties. Dragon fruit and bougainvillea, society of garlic and garlic chives. Here we have uh, guayaba tree it's doing pretty good i got it at home depot this year this spring about six weeks ago put them in the ground about two weeks ago here we have um, another bear's lime that i got when did i get this guy here we get this weed since i'm here anyway this bear's lime i got uh, last year when i was living in fallbrook but he almost died on me. I put him in the ground there and gophers got to him and I took him out of the ground, put him in the pot and he came back to life. Now he, now it's in the ground doing quite well. This is a karakara, yeah, karakara orange that my daughter Tiffany gave me. Here is a Eureka lemon tree that I put in the ground. Got it last year. Aloe vera, another karakara orange tree that my daughter Tiffany gave me. Rosemary. I'm gonna put them in the ground pretty soon. This is ice cream, banana. This is pineapple. This is a Mexicola Grande avocado tree. It's called Grande because the regular Mexicola is a real small black fruit. This fruit is just a little bit bigger than the, the typical Mexicola. That's why it's called Mexicola Grande. This is a cherry tomato going crazy. I did some pruning right now, but I think he's out of control. I'm not really even sure how to prune this cherry tomato. More pineapples. This is a Namwa banana from my friend Anki down in San Diego, close to uh, SeaWorld. All the pineapple plants have been transplanted like three times. Here's a Roma tomato starting to do good but uh i pruned him but i really don't know what i'm doing this is a pinkerton avocado verdolagas growing with some kind of um, pepper plant that got really beat up early on when it was barely starting from animals probably birds or bugs pineapple this is mona lisa from the fia foundation in honduras here is chili pasilla. You can see the chilies are starting to get pretty big. Pineapple. This is a jam avocado. For some reason he was doing really good in the pot. I put him in the ground and he lost all his leaves and barely shooting out new leaves. Another tomato, Roma. I think these guys are having blossom and rot, so I gotta look that up. As to what causes it i think it's inconsistent watering pineapple doing good this little banana plant i thought he was dead and he kind of came back to life so i put him in the ground it's called williams it's a cavendish here's another tomato plant that i pruned it looks a little bit better believe it or not here's a reed avocado that got beat up i don't know what happened to him pineapple this tomato plant also did not like some uh, of its watering uh, schedule that I did not have them on as in I forgot to water them a few times here is another banana plant it says sweetheart also from the FIA foundation in Honduras this is the same variety as that guy some kind of round to me oh better boy 
Here is a fuerte. It lost a lot of branches. He had the, the leader was somehow broken. I don't remember how, but it did happen. This is a couple of zucchinis. They're coming out. I planted them about a week ago, and they're already coming out. I planted like six or eight seeds in here. Pineapple that is getting big. Pretty soon, the fruit will be coming out. This is a Pisan Colt Tech. It's a Thai type banana, I believe. Here's some more zucchini. I'm gonna have to put some uh, chicken wire because I know birds like to um, eat these le young leaves and in the past they have killed my zucchini. So later, after this video, I'm gonna put some chicken wire over it. This is called Bailey's Marble. It's a mango tree. Supposedly semi-cold resistant. Here is my Fia 1, Another, it's called Goldfinger, I think is the popular name they gave it to this uh, variety created there at the Honduras Foundation. This is a Thompson Silas from my daughter Tiffany's yard. Like I said, this is Fia 1. Here's another mango tree. These mangoes, I think all three are going to fall off. There's two more here. Possibly they will stay on, I don't know, but these guys I think are going to fall off. This is another, let me see, a grapevine that I got from my son Matthew, I believe. Here is a banana plant that got hit by the gophers twice. I replanted him and he's shooting out a new leaf in the middle. He did have roots uh, still left on the stalk, so I'm hoping for the best. Here is another mango tree I'm waiting for the it to get hot here in Vista this is another Thompson Silas I got from my daughter Tiffany here you can see my pineapples starting to form like I said these pineapples have had like three transplants and they're still alive and some are actually giving that's a passion fruit vine that I got from some guy I sold bananas to he gave it to me he says it's from Mexico I have no idea this is a Cavendish, I call it Enzo's Cavendish because he saved it from when we used to live in Fallbrook. Another pineapple plant. No fruit yet. That's a blackberry. A dead mango tree. Another pineapple plant that's growing. Um, this is called Double Mahoy. I think, yeah, Double Mahoy. Banana plant, uh, Cavendish family, pineapple, that's a raspberry growing there. Another dead mango tree, pineapple. And this is a very good variety I got from my neighbor's house in Fallbrook. The dang gophers really got this guy when he was nice and big and full of leaves, but I hate those guys. Here's a Chiramoya tree. As you can see, he's doing quite well. Put him in the ground uh, two weeks ago, and these are three solo papaya plants in this pot. I'm hoping we'll do well.